Okay, everybody. Well, let's get started. So, uh, automated sliding door. Well, uh, here's my setup. Simple floor plane there. I got a wall. I got a second wall. I got a door in the middle right there that can slide up and down like so. And then I have an object that's going to go through the door. And we're going to call that thing a robot just for fun, right? Okay, so we got that thing selected. Let's, oops, let's go back. Object mode. Yep, yeah, we're going to call this guy a robot. And then this we'll call the sliding door. And why? Well, just because we can, right? Okay, so for this stuff, you're good. For the door, make sure you go up to edit, delete by type and history and go up to modify and freeze transformation. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to set a driven key. Now, that means that this robot right here will be driving the door. That's basically what that's called, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our animation tab. We're going to go up to uh, key. We're going to go to set driven key, go to set and hit the option box. So we've got two uh, empty windows here, one for the driver and one for the driven. Okay. So who's the driver here? Well, that's the robot, right? Like I just mentioned. So we're going to click on load driver. Now, who's the driven? Well, the door is driven by the driver. So the door is the driven. There you go. So now we've got two values here. We've got the door, we've got the robot, and each of the values that we have here, as far as you know, visibility, translate, rotate, scale, and so forth. So we kind of need to figure out which values are involved in this setup. So we're going to go and look at our um, robot first. Well, we want this guy to move that way. And as you can see in the top right corner, that is a translate in Z. Okay. So I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to make sure that my uh, robot right here, it says translate in Z. There you go. Now, the door is going to move that way, which is X. So we're going to go back and we're going to translate X. There you go. We're not going to move anything just yet, right? So with everything set up the way it is, what we're going to do is we're going to just um, set a key down here in the position that we are right now. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go and click on set key. Now, as we do that, you see that up here, the transit X now has a little blue marker, right? Now, the transit X is for the sliding door. And here, this guy, right, we are going to set that key as well. And we are now set to move on. So we're going to move this guy forward until we're in the door, basically. We're going to take our door. We're going to move that over here. And with the door selected, we're going to get a set key. We're going to select this guy, set key. Then I'm going to move forward. I'm going to take my door, move that back to the zero position. And click on key one more time. We're going to minimize that. We're going to go in here and we're going to take our robot. And we're going to move it. All right. And as you see, as it, and I'll give this door a color just so you can see it better, right? Let's go in here. Let's take a, uh, I don't know what it is. Let's do a blue. Why not? Okay. So that's our door set up. We're going to take this guy. And as I move forward, look what happens. The door opens, the robot goes through and the door comes back, almost hitting it in his ass. But you know, there you go. So that's all the two guys. Now there are many, many things you can do with this. You can have somebody fall through a trap door. You can have a car, uh, like a garage door open, a shopping mall door and so forth and so on. Many, many things drive one with the other. Okay. So that's all the two guys. Hopefully you have fun with that. If you've got any questions, let me know as always. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, that will make me very happy and see you guys next time. Bye. I came from the mud.